Hey everybody and welcome back to my floor. I've got some carpet now, a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's sparkly carpet. Ooh. Anyway, I don't really know exactly what motivated me to make this video, but I, I kind of feel like I just wanted to explain a thing. If you read the title and you're thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? You do make loads of goth videos. Uh, and you even have a playlist called goth stuff. Yes, obviously, of course, that whole thing is a lot about who I am. It's kind of the most obvious feature of me. And I do love to make videos about alternative stuff. I love to share music with you guys and festivals and like where to find the things you're looking for. So like fashion stuff and beauty stuff, a little bit of cultural stuff here and there. Sometimes I take you guys with me to goth club nights and stuff. I take you with me to festivals and to see bands and things. And I answer your Q and A's and in every single Q and A I do, there's always loads of questions about goth stuff, you know, which is fine. And I'm happy to talk about that kind of thing. But what I mean is I don't like to talk about like the technicalities of like what the scene is and what does and does not constitute goth. There are a lot of people who do post videos of themselves on the internet sort of discussing their thoughts and feelings on various aspects of the whole goth subculture as, as they know it. There are a few reasons that I don't talk about it. I mean the technicalities, it's a bit hard to explain, okay? Like I, I've never made a video saying what is and what is not goth. Like people, for example, on Facebook groups and like communities and things love to sort of discuss stuff. Everybody's got a different belief about what is and is not goth and what level should a person be allowed to label themselves as that, which things should and should not be labeled as that, which styles, which bands, and you see it happen all the time online. No one's ever going to completely agree because it's not like a solid set thing. It's just a social thing. It's it's a it's a social subculture. It's in almost every country, right? And it's a little bit different everywhere you go. And I think that's really cool. It's like this whole big global family. You know, everyone's got this thing in common, this thing that we can't quite explain. And it's the thing is that people like to try and explain it. I personally feel like discussing it kind of spoils it a little bit. Sorry if you're finding this video a little bit confusing, but I'll do my best explain. I'm not a good explainer. Blah. There are three primary reasons why I don't make videos that are like, what is goth? And what is not goth? Goths are like this or goths are like that. You'll never really hear me talk about that kind of thing on my channel. And the three primary reasons for that are, one, anytime I've ever seen anyone make a post on the internet anywhere about their opinions on what does and does not constitute goth. Everyone is not always going to agree because it is not like a set thing. <laughs> the posts like that will always end in argument. <laughs> Pretty much always. I've seen it happen so many times. I do kind of hang out a little bit on like online forums and stuff just to see what people are talking about to kind of keep my finger on the pulse of the online goth communities. I'm a very good lurker, I don't always post, but I do look. But yeah, I see that happen all the time. Someone will be like, this band isn't goth, or this online personality isn't, this particular style isn't. Pretty much always ends in argument, and I like my channel to be a positive place. This is one reason, I don't want to start arguments. I just don't see what good it would do, what it would achieve, all it would do. If I was to make an opinionated video about what I thought, the comments would be full of people arguing about it, and why would anybody want that? What good does that do? None. The second reason is because we are nearly at half a million Belfry Bats. Just while I'm at it, do you guys like being called Belfry Bats, or would you like to come up with some other name for yourselves? I don't know. I just, I've been calling you guys Belfry Bats because my old house was called the Belfry, and bats live in belfries. But if you've got any sort of suggestions for other things that you would like to be called, or if we should just keep it that way, up to you. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, nearly half a million of us, and especially more and more of you guys that I meet in real life, I know that like loads, if not most of you, are not goths or alternative people at all. Just like, you know, normal people or whatever. Like if I make loads of videos discussing the technicalities of the goth subculture, I think just a lot of people wouldn't be interested. Like why would they care? Thirdly, and the main reason I don't make videos discussing those things is because I think it kind of spoils it, you know? It kind of spoils the mystique 
really because that's one of the cool things about I don't like saying the G word that often but I'm going to have to in this video one time one of the coolest things about goth is that it's a bit mysterious the average person doesn't know much about it they don't understand it I've been asked questions from people all the time like I was at a religious thing there's a sort of sense of mystique about it and that's really cool I feel like it should just be but we don't have to talk about it it's kind of like Fight Club like how the first rule of Fight Club is do not talk about Fight Club. I feel like if we talk about it too much, it stops being quite so cool. Maybe you disagree with me, you're welcome to disagree with me, but that's just my personal feeling. It's like say if you take a really good, beautiful book and you read this book and you feel just enchanted by it, swept away by it, and you get all these wonderful imagination things from the book and it makes you feel a certain way. And then you have to take that book to school or university and break it down to a million billion bits and analyze the shit out of it. And then it sort of loses its magic, right? Does that make sense? The thing is, it's a self-expression thing. So I think people should really just be able to do whatever they want. And if they want to label themselves as goth, that's up to them. If they don't, that's up to them. And I think, just fuck it. Just live and let live. Like, but the weird thing is, I don't really see this in real life. I don't know if it's just the community I'm in, but people don't talk about that kind of thing in real life as far as I've seen. It's only online that people love to get into these persnickety discussions about what is and is not off and who is and who isn't. We're all individuals. I think it's a nice umbrella term, right? It's, it's a nice umbrella term, like there are, but there are lots of things that fit under that umbrella. It's not that simple. There's no fucking goth overlord who's going, who has like the final say on God is. Do we really need to talk about it? Do we really need to talk about the technicalities of the gold subculture? I feel like I personally don't want or need to talk about it. Like I said, A, because it's so often starts arguments, B, because a lot of people think it's boring, and C, because it removes so much of the mystique of it, I think. I think it's cool just to be a thing, but you don't need to talk about the thing. I think just be whoever you want to be, whether you consider yourself a goth or not, or if someone else you know, shows all the hallmarks of being a goth, like a stereotype, but they don't call themselves that, then who gives a fuck? Why does it matter? And the other thing is that people really have this great almighty need, especially these days, to put labels on themselves. Not everybody, but like, it, it seems to be something that a lot more people do now, or feel the need for. And I can understand that, because it does give one the feeling of belonging, to say, oh, I am this or I am part of this group. For some reason that, that happens to goth is that it gets broken down into all these sections and subsections and like you know branches of the tree it, it has its roots and then it's branched off into like a million different things and a lot of people have opinions about which of those blossomings still belongs on the tree am i making any sense i really hope so but yeah i think goth is an umbrella term and getting all persnickety about it i just i just don't see why we should. Those are the reasons why you don't hear me talking that much about goth stuff. Like I said, I, of course I'm always going to share helpful stuff. You know, for example, I've got some like nice ideas for things that I want to do to answer like the main primary questions that I get from you guys, especially from like teenagers. There are two things I really want to address in the near future. Is One is like how to talk to your parents if you want to like start turning into this spooky dark creature of the night, how to do so without horrifying your family and how to talk to them. The other side of that too, like something for parents, for their kids who want to be goths and that they don't need to be afraid of that and what it really means and blah 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 blah. Yeah, I'm still going to make those kinds of videos, just the same as always. I think what I try to do at least when it comes to talking about it is to maintain the balance between letting the average person realise that we're not dangerous or something. At the end of the day we're still normal people, we can be doctors and lawyers and politicians and things. So finding the balance between that and the mysterious darkness and <laughs> not knowing what hides in the dark. <laughs> I don't know if this video has really made much sense. Maybe if you've never been part of like an online goth community that, that does talk about these sort of technicalities and things and sort of pick things to pieces and have opinions and arguments and discussions, then maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. So sorry if this entire video has made absolutely zero sense to you, I really am. If it has, then by all means feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely channel. Oh, and may I just say, 
And at the end of every video, as I was just about to do, I always say take care of yourselves and be nice to each other. I don't just say that at the end of each video just for something sort of nice and fruity flourish to put at the end. I mean it. Be nice to each other. In real life and online. So yeah, as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye!